Now live from the Cake Studios, this is Cake News on your side at 6. Tonight, a night out at a club in Old Town shattered by gunfire. Last night, unfortunately, evil happened. Half a dozen people hit by bullets. A man who died described as a model co-worker and father. He was just the best. He was uh, an entertainer. He was a family guy. And the man accused of pulling the trigger has yet to be found. Nobody would have ever expected that he would go out and go did what he did. Cake News at 6 starts right now. And the search for that suspected gunman continues tonight. Good evening, I'm Deb Barris. And I'm David Scott. That shooting overnight at a club in Old Town killed one man and injured several women. Cakes Jackson Overstreet is live now outside that club called Enigma to kick off our team coverage tonight. Jackson. David, Deb, you know, we're about 18 hours since that initial call out and it's a very different scene here at Enigma than it was early this morning. All that's left really is some, still some pieces of broken glass from this morning. But there are some flowers that have been set up there just outside of the club here. That's about the only memorial that we've seen so far here for the victims. Now, when it comes to actually what took place tonight, please tell us it all came from one man, Keyshawn Dawson. They say that is who Wichita police, op say Wichita police opened fire on the club just after 1230 this morning. Now, please tell us it all started when Dawson was kicked out of the club. Detectives say Dawson left and then returned with a gun and opened fire on the building. And that's when he killed 34-year-old Preston Spencer, injured five women. Now, police say they were able to identify Dawson with help of the surveillance technology that's here in Old Town. Are we good? I can say that there are a lot of camera uh, surveillance uh, in the Old Town area and uh, the business excel itself. And that was instrumental in helping us not only understand what happened, but also in identifying the suspect. Now, Wichita police tell us they are still looking for Dawson and that he was caught on video leaving in a dark color sedan is what they told us earlier today. He's also wanted on two felony warrants with the Cedric County and is prohibited from having a firearm, according to police. Now, if you have any information on where Dawson is, you are asked to call Wichita police or Crime Stoppers. If you do call Crime Stoppers, you can remain, remain anonymous uh, when you send that tip in. Now, as far as the five women that were injured in the shooting, police tell us that all of them should be should survive, and a majority of them have already been released from the hospital. And we'll be sure to keep you updated if Dawson is found. Any more information on this case, but for now, live in downtown Wichita, Jackson Overstreet, Cake News on your side. And our Cake team coverage of the shooting continues now with another look at that suspect, 23-year-old Keyshawn Dawson. We'll have much more on his criminal history in just a minute. But first, let's get out to Cake's Hannah Baker, who's live in Old Town with more on the man who was killed last night, Preston Spencer. He leaves behind his wife and two young children. Hannah. Yeah, Deb, the owner here at Enigma tells me what happened last night was just evil. And while he's still in shock, he says what's most important is those families impacted by this tragic incident. Last night, unfortunately, evil happened. Owner of Enigma Club and Lounge Ali Kabar is at a loss for words after the devastating shooting that happened at his bar early Tuesday morning. It all started when police say Keyshawn Dawson started a fight and security asked him to leave. You know, they shook hands, come back next Monday. You know, we'll, we'll take care of you next Monday. What happened next, no one could have expected. Police say Dawson came back and opened fire, killing Preston Spencer and injuring five women. All this is nothing. What I'm going through is nothing compared to the loss of the Spencer family and the pain and that's the injured are going through in the hospital. Spencer was a beloved bar manager at 12 Restaurant Bar. The owner, Bryce Kuhn, who didn't want to be on camera, says the whole crew is devastated. He was just the best. He was uh, an entertainer. He was a family guy. He was, a, you know, he was a great friend. Um, just the kind of person who always wanted to put a smile on other people's faces. Kuhn says he's going to contact the family and hopefully plan a day to remember Spencer so customers and coworkers can come pay respects and donate to the grieving family. Spencer leaves behind a wife and two young children. His wife released this statement saying, Preston was one of the greatest gifts I was blessed to have, and he gave me two beautiful children to share this life with. There's nothing that can bring him back, but he will live on in the legacy that he leaves behind. 
Other family members I spoke with off camera say that Preston Spencer was a shining light and a true gentleman of a person. Now there is a GoFundMe set up. We'll have that linked on this story on cake.com. Live in downtown Wichita, Hannah Baker, Cake News on your side. All right, thanks, Hannah. And tonight we're also uncovering more about the suspect in this shooting. Cake's Jessica Crawford is here now with more on that, Jessica. Well, we're learning more about criminal charges that Keyshawn Dawson has had in the past. Dawson is also wanted on two felony Sedgwick County warrants. And two weeks ago, he was scheduled to be sentenced for one of those crimes, but failed to appear. The court issued a warrant for his arrest. He was just released from prison in December of 2020. I'm Jessica Crawford, Cake News on your side. Uh, thanks, Jessica. And stay with Cake News for continuing coverage of this morning's fatal shooting in Old Town. Watch for updates on air and online at our website, cake.com.